my name's Hannah and here on my channel I create beauty looks and show you products that have just come out or products that I love. If this is something that you're interested in please like and follow as it really helps my channel. And now on to the video. Look what has just arrived. Honestly I think this is one of the most anticipated exciting deliveries I've had in a long time. Just take a look at the new Vanessa Myricks light work palette. This is light work five, the I am palette. How gorgeous is this? And here on the front, I love this metal top, like a plaque. This is something she used with the groundwork palette. It looks really, really nice. And it also came with this beauty. This is a mirror that you can pop in your purse, but it also comes with a mixing plate. I can show you without it being too shiny. So this is a, a metal mixing plate with a mirror on top, which is excellent, very helpful. But look at the packaging. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. And it also came with this stunning bag. Look at this huge bag. Isn't it beautiful? I can't wait to use that. Anyway, over the next few days I'm going to try out a few looks and I'm basically going to add them all into this video for you so that you can see different eye looks. My eyes don't let me do multiple looks in one day so I'm going to add them all together and when they're all ready I'll send out this video in, in one go for you so that's how you'll be seeing it here. So if you see me looking different with different lipsticks and different outfits that's why. And what I'm going to do for every single look is I'm going to use the Groundwork palette as my base. So for the first look I'll show you how I do that. If you're not familiar with the Groundwork palette, it comes with creams and it comes with powders, so it's perfect for creating bases. Although it can also be used for contouring, for eye, eyebrows and lip lining, even bronzer. I've also used it as an eyeshadow primer. The, the colour here is really good for that. So yeah, this is a really good palette if you don't already have this one in your collection. So today I'm just going to use it for pre preparing my eyes and putting down a base colour into the crease before I use this beautiful groundwork palette. So the cream colours in this are called pomade, if you, oh, yeah I think that's how it's pronounced, pomade if you're familiar with that. And the one I'm going to use today is called chiselled, this one here. And I'm using my Merit Number no. 2 brush which is so good for cream products. Just pop some of this here and you'll see how just easily and quickly this blends. Extremely easy. And I'm taking it down over the whole of the eyelid because I think using the powders and the shimmers they will adhere to it better and hopefully last longer and give more of a pop. So there's a number of ways to use this palette. Obviously you can use it however you want to. And the way I understand it is these are the base colors and these are the real pop bright colors you can use. And then these are the topper shades. They do come in multiple formats, all of them. So they're a different experience really with each one. And then you can use them in rows like this. So obviously you can chop and change how you do that. I think as soon as I'm wearing red today, I should probably go with the red. So I'm going to start with this here as a base all over the lid. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to take it up into the outer V. There's a little bit of fallout, so I probably wouldn't do your makeup first like I've done today. But that's gone on very easily, blended very easily, and does provide a good base. 
You could probably pack on a lot more colour if you'd used your finger, but as a base using a, a brush, if you use a thick brush like this, I'm using the Sonia G Blender Pro for this. So when you're using a big fluffy brush, it doesn't tend to pack it on, which is ideal really for the first base colour. And this one is called Unbreakable. So we have Unbreakable on this side, I'll just quickly do the other side. So it's now on both sides and I've got no fallout on this side so it's pretty minimal the fallout with that shadow. I think now I'll take a little bit of Healed which is, I'm using my Rafa number two and I'm going to pop, that looks very crumbly before I put it on, let me just tap some off. I'm going to pop this on the outer, oh that's beautiful look at that. on the outer edge of my eye. And a little bit more. That really is beautiful. I love that colour. I'll try my finger. Yeah, see the extra pop that's given? Blend it all at the top blends in very easily and now for the rest of the lid I'm going to go in with what's it called loved which is this one here and for this I'm using my Sigma number E57 which is called a firm shader so this one really packs on the color it's quite good for getting into the corner of the eye oh beautiful this this one doesn't have fallout. Oh, I say that and a bit landed on my nose. Okay, there is a bit of fallout. They work really nicely together, don't they? This has got a bit of a shift in it as well. I'm going to take it across and blend it into the purple. And blend it out. I think I'll take my finger See if it gives a little bit more of a pop. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with protected. I'm going to use my finger for this one. This is protected here. So I'll put my little finger into this one. And this is apparently, actually if I show you it, it's got like a lilac -y shift, pink shift. This is supposed to be a topper, so I'll see how it works as a topper across the whole look. Oh, that's lovely. I'm just going to take a bit more of the healed here. And tap it on the outer edge because it seems to have all gone a bit pinky. And I'll go back in with protected the inner corner. Oh yeah, it works well for that. And I'll pop a little bit underneath the eyebrow. I was using my BK Beauty 207 then to do the inner corner. So I forgot to mention when to do that. I'll take some of the unbreakable that we started with. Yeah. And run this underneath the eye. And just blend that out and then going in with healed to do this I'm using the BK 204 I always use the BK 204 for this detail underneath the eye I think it's the perfect brush for it to be honest there's a lot of fallout with this healed I think you need to be very careful because you're gonna have bits in your eye there yeah, that's fine as long as you tap off it seems to be absolutely fine back in with loved complete the look. Yeah, there's no fallout after tapping off, so it's just a question of being careful. These two colours do look quite similar once they've blended together, so, so I think next time I do it, I'd probably choose one or the other. 
with the top of shade. I don't think I'd use the two together because it seems to have blended all into the same colour really. There's not an awful lot of difference. I'll just go off and do the other eye and put some eyeliner and then be back to show you the final look. And here's the final look. What do you think? One thing I noticed when I was doing the second eye is I didn't use the topper shade and the pink pops a lot more, the, the lighter pink. So I went back in and did the same on the other eye. I put more pink over the topper. So my advice would be not to use the topper across the top of these two colours because it does tend to blend them into one. Whereas if you don't use it, you can see here the pink is popping much more and the purple and they do look nicer together then. So I would revise what I said earlier when I said I'd only use one of these two colours. They do work very nicely together and the topper I used in the inner corner and under the eyebrow which I think is what it works the best for. So that would be my advice. So going back over the, the colours I used here, I used Unbreakable as my base colour here and then I used Healed in the outer area of the eye and then I used this one which is called Loved in the inner and middle of the eye and this one I did use as a topper but revised the plan, this one's called Protected and this one in the inner corner and under the eyebrow. So that was my colour pattern for today. Pink is not really a colour that suits me to be perfectly honest, so this is the colour I probably like the least on me, but I do think it is so, so pretty. And if you love pinks and purples, I think you're going to love these colours. And I think I'll be trying the greens next, which is more in my comfort zone, so I'll see you for the next look. So here I am with look number two. I've already done the first eye. I started with groundwork as I did with the first look. And the first colour in this green look that I used is Enough. Again, I used this all over the whole eye as my base. There's no fallout with this one, just like yesterday. It's very nice as a everyday one and done shadow. Very pretty. I'm just going in with a clean blender brush to blend out the edges because this is quite a dark colour so it does need to be blended out at the top and around the edges. Again using the Sony G Blender Pro. And now going in with this green here and just for note this is called a whipped powder shifter whereas the one I used yesterday here they're silk press shifters, but I have used both now and I don't actually, I can't tell the difference. They both have a lot of fallout and they both have a lot of impact. So be very careful when applying. This colour is absolutely stunning look. Beautiful, isn't it? The tapping off has avoided fallout, which is good. And this green shade is called Abundant. And then using my Sigma E57 Firm Shader, I'm going to go in with this colour here. And this one is called Inspiring. I love using lilacs and purples with greens. I think they're a beautiful combination. It's one of my favourite colour mixes when it comes to eye makeup. This is more of a silvery lilac really. I think they work really well together. I'm just going to show you, if I put my finger back into Abundant, have a look how much impact that gives. It does emphasise my lines a little bit though, so I'm not keen on doing it to be honest. But if you have younger lids than mine, they might work very nicely on you. But for mature eyes, I would just use the brush. 
it does give a lovely shine, quite a metallic sort of shine. And blend them all together at the top. And then with my VK Beauty 207, I'm going to go in with, it's called Evolving. And this is a really pretty shade. And as with yesterday, I'm not going to use these as a topper. I'm using them as an inner corner pop. Look at that, isn't that lovely? And under the brow, it's called Heavenly Halo which is the same as yesterday's formula there that's a bit more of a pop there look at that in fact now I want to add a bit more on the other side you do need to build it up with the brush if you want to see a pop when you do look at that <laughs> how gorgeous is that god I love it and now back into Enough on the lower, lower lash line. Just blend out. And I'll just go in with a black eyeliner, which is what I did on this side, underneath and above, on the outer line. I'm using the Suku liner, which I absolutely love. So creamy, so easy, and has the most fine nib on it. Look at that! I love this pen. And then with BK Beauty 204, back in here with this one, which is abundant. Just a little bit. Tap off the excess. Oops, I've done that. <laughs> and matching above. Back in with the same brush using Inspiring. And that's the full look. I'll just do my mascara. So there's the final look on both eyes. This is definitely my favourite look so far. I haven't tried the others, but green is usually my favourite. But I'm very much looking forward to trying the oranges and the bronzes here because these colours really flatter me too. They go well with blue eyes. They go well with all, all eye colours, but they particularly flatter blue eyes, I think. But I just love greens. So anyway, today I used this line here. And yesterday I used this line. So tomorrow, I'm going to be using these and I'll have to choose between these two and these two. So I'll see you tomorrow. And here's look number three on the one eye here. I'll show you how I did this. So I started with Unstoppable, which is this one here. Going in with a fluffy brush all over the lid. This is another shade that would be lovely as a one and done, I think. There, you could just be done for the day with that. And then, Fierce. This has a lot of fallout. This is the whipped powder. I mean, look, can you see the clumps on my eyes before I even start? So I've got to be so careful how this goes on without making a mess. I think that's got to be one of the disadvantages of this palette, is it's very messy you can make it work and I've managed to make it work with all these looks with a full face of makeup on but I wouldn't advise it <laughs> look at that look at the shift in the colour it's so beautiful isn't it packing it into the outer V and up to the centre of my eyelid and then fearless again be very careful to tap this off I made quite a mess with the first look it fell on my face now. This does happen with a full face of makeup. You probably need to use a bit of concealer to sort it out, which is what happened with me because it is very strong. Look, 
look at that colour, look at the shift. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I love these colours, they just bring me so much joy, honestly, using this, this palette. Just happiness every single day. I'm just tidy the edge up now with a fluffy brush. And then run unstoppable under the lid. <laughs> Sorry, under the eye. So that it meets here. And today to line my eyes, I went back in with the groundwork palette, which I've already used as my base colour, like I did yesterday and the day before. I'm using the black pomade cream, which is just so easy to use. Watch. Just, that's it, it's just so good. I love that using this. I don't know why I didn't use it on the other one, I just forgot. It just blends so easily. Probably the best one I've ever used for this, to be honest. The groundwork palette is worth keeping on your desk for every single day because it's got something in it that you can use in every look, whether it's a base, a liner, a full look, a lip liner, bronzer, it's just got everything really, it's just so well thought out. And now in with Fierce again, under the eye, and then Fearless, and now I'm going to go in with Radiant, which is this one here. This is another Heavenly, ha yeah, Heavenly Halo, is that? <laughs> formula. Put a little bit under the brow. Very powerful so I need to be careful. And then just do my mascara quickly. And there's the final look. What do you think? This is definitely tying with the green look I think for me. I really like this look. So looking back, these are the colours I used. This one, then this, then this, then this. So now my last one to try will be this one, which will be tomorrow. I'll see you then. So here is look four. Today I tried a halo look, and even though I said the green would be my favourite and then the bronze, now I think this one is my favourite. So I'll show you how I did this. I've got the groundwork palette made on my eye as with all the other looks and I started off here I didn't use this as a first colour I thought it was too light as a all over colour to be honest as a base so I started with this <sighs> and start on the outer edge this is a silk press shifter like the very first look I tried now one of the reasons I wasn't looking forward to trying this so much is because blue, dark blue anyway, just does not suit me. So I found a way to combat that. I'll show you now in the next step. Land across the top. Using my finger I went in with Brave. Now this is a very chunky one, so I find this applies a lot better on the finger. Look at that. And then, putting across the top of the blue, it completely transforms the colour. It's this incredible colour. Just look at that. It makes the dark blue a lot better for me. And to get into the corner of my eye, I use my little finger. Just so pretty, isn't it? And then blend at the top. It's basically created a new colour by mixing the two together, which I absolutely love. Look. 
And then I used Invincible. To go down the middle. And this, I think you can probably see why that wouldn't have made a good base shade for me. It makes an incredible pop in the center of the lid. Look, honestly these colors, this palette is just the most fun I've had all year. <laughs> And then I match the bottom to the top. So first going in again with strong. And back in with brave. And running it along the top to change the colour again. And then invincible in the centre. You do need to be very careful doing this because there are quite big chunks and it did fall down my cheek on this side if you can see all the bits which I couldn't get rid of plus it can go into your eyes so you do need to be very careful to tap off the pieces as long as you tap off it works nicely though and then I use strong on its own as my liner today I didn't think I needed much liner, I thought that this needed to be left as it was. So I just used a little bit of strong, darken up this area here and create a small wing. These are incredibly easy to work with. Apart from the fallout issues, it's so difficult to make a mistake because they're just so easy and they blend so nicely together. Done. And then the last step, going in with Resilient for my corner. Beautiful pop of colour there. And then under the eyebrow. There we go. I'll just pop my mascara on and be back for the final look. And there we go, that's the final look and my last look on this video. This is my favourite look, and I really did not expect that. Although, to be fair, they're all my favourite looks. <laughs> what do you think? I just love this. I think it's so pretty. So, just quickly going back over. I started with this, which is strong and then I topped it with Brave to make it a lighter blue either side of the halo and then I put this one which is Invincible into the centre and then I use this one which is Resilient as a pop in the corner and a, below the eyebrow and that's it I mean I've created four looks now I hope you've enjoyed them but I think you could create a hundred looks with this palette you can have a single one and done with any of these here so that's eight colors and here these can all be a one and done i mean it's just these i don't think would work as a one and done probably more as a corner pop um yeah you can just mix you can have green and blue you can have green and gold you can have red and gold you can, i mean it's just endless you could play with this palette for months and probably still be creating different looks. It's the most fun I've had all year by a mile and I just can't wait to carry on using it. There are issues with fallout but that's very simple to sort out by doing your eyes before you put your foundation on or you just deal with it like I did with a bit of concealer which hasn't bothered me at all with any of these looks to be honest. I just absolutely love this. You could apply all of these with your finger as well. It's, it's, you can use multiple different brushes. It's just, it is so versatile. I just love it. And obviously I've enjoyed using the Groundwork palette along with it too. So v Vanessa Myrex has, has really come out strong for me in the last couple of months with these two releases. I've absolutely loved them. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this has been helpful to you and if you'd like any more content like this I'd really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed and tick the notification bell below and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!